You can see all my really horrible fingernails up close and all that stuff. It's great. But anyways, this is your standard Japanese Sama joystick. It's got the ball top. This one has a shaft cover, dust washer, whatever. All right. There's a couple ways to hold a stick, or a couple generally accepted ways. I mean, I guess you could hold it like caveman, hold it like you're shifting gears, you know, like a semi truck or whatever you want to do. But uh, generally, there's a couple standard methods, and the first of which is wine glass. And with the flick of the wrist, I can perform uh, all the motions necessary for Street Fighter, so whether it be fireball, double fireball half circle back, dashes, and so forth. 720, well, 720 I would recommend doing something else. But, you know, SPD, it's not so bad. Not so, bad. so, that's one method. Uh, another method is to just place your hand sort of the side and use your index and thumb to shift around. And this creates like an interesting pull versus push motion depending on if you're doing forward motions or backward motion and you know you would dash probably with your thumb or just twitch your whole hand like that and then for four dashes you either tap or once again just twitch your hands so I use sort of a hybrid of these two methods which is like a wine glass where I put it between uh, these Star Trek fingers I guess and then I kind of fold it up so these two fingers index and middle finger wrapping around the side of the ball and then the thumb goes on the top so this way I get some of the benefits of the wine glass but see where I can just use my fingers I can flick my fingers actually so this is even cooler so I flick my fingers to do Hadouken motions which is interesting I never noticed that until I and then half circle back motion I just push forward and then roll back dashes, I tap forward, slap up my hand twice, and dash back, twitch my thumb. And that's how I do it, so uh, double fireball motion, it's all done with my fingers pretty much here, These between these two fingers. So double fireball and then backwards would be more with my thumb and my index. So that's why you may have uh, difficulty executing on one side than the other because they're two very different motions, especially if you hold it uh, like I do. But this little finger placement and then using your fingers to rock the stick from down to forward, uh, that's a pretty good method. And I, I'd like to say that I'm a genius, so you can uh, thank me for figuring that one out. For SPDs, I might modify it. Not that I play Zangief a whole bunch, but when I do, I just kind of grip it a little more on the top of the ball. And then, you know, 720. And I do ride the rails. I do ride the rails. Especially when doing like a Guile Ultra. I ride the corners so hard on the square gate. Depending on what joystick you're playing on, it'll vary. Like, you might have eight sides on the restrictor plate, or four. And that would be, you know, a square gate or octagonal restrictor plate, whatever you want to call it. I think a square gate's better because the corners are more defined, they're easier to find. And if you're a charge character, I just think it's much easier to find down back and down forward. Not that you'd ever want to do that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the corners are just more defined. I feel that when I play on a octagate that I would slip into down or left or back, whatever you want to call it. I'd slip into those by accident because I'm not very accurate otherwise. So I think the square gate helps me a lot. You may find doing fireball motions sort of foreign at first with the square gate, but I think you get used to it and it's much better in the long run. Or you can run into like a circle, which there's no edges at all. It's just a f full circle. Now they have circle restrictor plates, but Generally, those are found on American sticks, you know, the big giant bat tops, not the ball top. You know, the American style stick is really huge and it has a bat top and there's no edges. And I find that's supremely inaccurate, so uh, fuck no, I don't use that shit. So, that's pretty much how I hold a joystick like this. I'm gonna do a combo here really quick. And 
and there's there's other more advanced things that I'm doing with my hands here that, you know, I mean, whether it be like double tapping, you know, I double tap my focus as well when I'm dashing, it's just like a rhythmic habit, I guess. And there's plinking, you know, which, these are all sort of separate videos, I mean, this does not have anything to do with how you hold it, really, you know, roundhouse loop. So, that's pretty much it, how to hold a stick, I'm not even in the, the fucking, the, Fucking zoom, I hate zoom. Always zoom would die. Anyways, like these are nice sheets. Lavenderish color. They're not it's not my bed. It's not it's not my bed. I swear. I sleep on the couch. Uh that'll about do it. Maybe I'll make another video going a little more in depth on uh buttons and stuff, but uh little techniques, I guess. But I already sort of covered double tapping and plinking in my previous tutorial, so you can just go look them up, and that'll be it. So I'll see you guys later. Next video, burger placement on the George Foreman Grill. You gotta get optimum juices flowing and the perfect grill mark. Next time. Good.